uh, we found we've got uh, this bit of dry stone wall down. Uh, occasionally they do fall down, but the most common reason they fall down is that they uh, get burrowed underneath by little mammals, moles and such like, occasionally badgers, foxes, not so much foxes here but badgers occasionally. So it's, this wall is only about, I don't know, 20, 25 year old that's all. Starting to sink there a bit in the middle, but this little section's come down. It's only about two meters, so it's only a little bit. Uh, I've tried to stabilise these ends because those throughs were still in. That's the uh, throughs of these big pieces. I don't even think I could lift this piece up here on this side. But uh, if we have a look, now uh, that's a good triangle piece of stone, as you can see. It's broke clean through under the pressure of having the wall leaning over on it and finally it's cracked that right through that's about seven inches thick on that triangle and if you look down there I don't know whether you can see that's basically to be a mole hill a mole hill a mole hole down there so we've been at work burrowing under here and if we uh, lift up these that all oh, these are the foundation stones have been leaning over and you look at that that's what happens. The little devil gets underneath, <laughs> burrows away, moves the soil, eventually the weight of the wall falls over and that's fallen down actually uphill but never mind it's not too bad. Now I'm no wall builder, we will going to see if I can put this back eventually. But, uh, first of all we've got to rid out these bottom stones, reset them on some more solider ground uh, and get a bit more stone in on the flat. So oh, that's it, so we'll uh, see how we get on. Well the stone that I thought was about 8 inches thick, the snap clean through, that triangle one, is at least a foot thick. So the pressure that must have been on there must have been immense. Okay, this is uh, as far as we've got just this uh, morning. You can see the pile of stones gone down dramatically and we've managed to stabilise that big rock at that end. Hopefully packed it out and uh, hopefully that big thing shouldn't move either now. It slipped a bit this morning and then we've uh, packed the wall out, we've reset these stones at the bottom. So I think uh, I think that'll do. I think it'll be coffee and dinner time now. Sure it will. Right, we'll see how we go on later on. Oh, this is another little go at this, and we've uh, we've run out of main stone. I did bring some up in tractor, but unfortunately, we not enough. So unskilled labouring. Now. There is a secret to wall building that dry stone walling people, they just don't want you to know. And that is, when you're putting these together, anybody can put this together, better than me anyway, is that all these stones, they're numbered, you see. So that's, look, that's 6,843 and that goes on to 6,842, perfectly. For instance, over there, you see, that's 7,021 on the copers. So in the copers, all we need is 7,000. Ah, uh, that's oh, well, that's 7,023. And that, oh, 7,022. So now we know where they go. You see, that's all there is to it. Look at that. A secret that wall builders just don't want you to know. Especially this awkward limestone walling. As you can see, the pile of stone has gone down. That's amazing. And we've actually got a stop proof wall. Uh, so we've managed to tilt that up now. It's not pretty. It wouldn't uh, win any pretty wall building competitions. But I brought up three wheelbarrows full of stone to put this gap back in. And 
that's what we've got left. We've got that one stone. I had two small pieces which I've put in in holes a little bit further along. But that's all we've got left. Don't believe me, have a look on the side. See? On that side. So, stock proof. Fairly solid. Should stand up. Hopefully it'll stand up. And we'll still uh, see it. So that's it. It is not a how to build a wall video. Not by any means. I am not a wall builder. But I can put one stone on top of another. And so, uh, and that's all it is really. There we are. Uh, a stock proof wall. Better than obviously what it was before, which was a hole. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I think this wall is very much like me, really. Ugly, but practical. <laughs>